You ever wonder what it takes to get one of these trailers loaded and get it prepared to haul the load safely? Well, let's show you a couple of things on a utility trailer that make this happen. We'll start by sliding the tandems and showing you what goes with that, and then we'll show you how the trailers can get loaded safely by a forklift at the dock. So now you know. This is the slider pin valve and it serves two functions. One is to disengage and engage the slider pins. The other function is the safety device. It will not let the trailer go down the road with the slider pins disengaged. If air gets put on the trailer, the slider pin button will automatically retract in and engage the slider pins. Another function on this suspension is the dock lock system. What the dock lock system does is it prevents the trailer from walking away as it's being loaded at the dock. What causes the trailer to walk away is heavy loads or forklifts going into the trailer, the suspension sagging, and it'll actually cause a forward movement. And it creeps away from the dock, which could be a dangerous situation. And how it prevents the trailer from walking away is you have the dock lock arm, you have the suspension arm, and another airbag up in the front corner. When the trailer is parked, these arms sit in place as is right now. And as the trailer's being loaded, the suspension will squat, these arms will rest on the suspension arm and only and limits the travel of the suspension so it can't get that forward movement. When the trailer needs to be hauled away and air is applied to the trailer, these arms will retract and the suspension will function normally. So as mentioned earlier, the dock lock system is engaged right now. Now when a tractor backs under it and hooks up and it's ready to go down the road, the arms will disengage like this. When the trailer is up to the dock and the park brakes are applied, the arms will swing back into place, limiting the suspension travel.